Dear friends, today's gospel gives us an opportunity to consider how our Christian faith relates to our participation in broader Australian society. In the time of Jesus, the tribal people of Judea were not too keen about being governed, let alone paying taxes both to the Roman and religious authorities. Some Pharisees tested Jesus, no doubt trying to trick him into either criticising the Roman government of the time or be seen to be supporting them. A response either way would have been problematic for Jesus. And so to a question about paying taxes, Jesus gave this inspired response. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but give to God what belongs to God. Jesus' response indicates the truly Catholic or universal nature of the Christian life. Living for us is not a question of either supporting the government or supporting the church. Whilst we are foundationally rooted in loving God and our neighbour, we do this in the context of contributing in a broader society. We need governance in society, as well as the church, to provide many communal services that everybody benefits from. And those services have to be funded by donations or taxes that we contribute to. Now, I know that some Australians rail against taxation and even avoid it, but our biblical tradition would tell us that it's a requirement that we should embrace positively as Christians. I've spent all my adult life in the military and the federal police traveling to countries where governance has broken down and anarchy and chaos reign, bringing unimaginable suffering. And more recently, I had a holiday traveling through some countries in Europe where there is massive tax avoidance. Those countries are in a mess on the point of collapse economically as well as socially as people have abandoned civic responsibility and are just focused on looking after themselves. The gospel message to us is that we should be prepared to give to Caesar and give to God in all sorts of ways and be socially responsible citizens. We should pay our fair share of taxes, both to the government and to the church. And beyond that, we should contribute our time and talent to society's needs. Today, we can also thank God for the people, a high proportion of whom are Catholics, who have offered themselves in public service, in the government, in the military, and in the police services, as well as the many workers in our many church organisations. Society depends upon our active, voluntary participation. There's a wonderful hymn that goes, freely, freely we have received, freely, freely give. Go in my name, and because you believe, others will know that I live. Friends, may we confidently and joyfully give to Caesar and give to God and be light and leaven to our Australian society.